Good morning, happy Monday. So I did most of my face makeup already and I apologize for not posting that much. Um, so I've had a really shitty month. So first I had to put my cat down, which I talked about in my last video. Um, rest in peace, my beautiful snowflake, I miss him. You've seen him in a lot of videos, he was my white cat. Um, so he's gone, unfortunately I came home and his legs weren't working so I had to put him down. And then the week after that my aunt died. So it's just been like, it's been a shitty month. So I thought, let's play with some makeup and make it all better. Also, I want to share my nails because look at how freaking cute these are. I got a bow put on them and I've never had like gems or anything on my nails. And so I'm really excited about it. The only thing that sucks is like when I go to like, you know, put my hair up or something, sometimes it gets caught. So if you've never like done that, just be aware that that can happen because I didn't even think about it. Also, I got a new mug. Coffee, please. Like, look at how freaking cute this is. It's got a gold handle on it, and I got this. You see the ring light on it, sorry. Um, and I got it at a thrift store for a dollar, and so it made me happy. This was when I was, well, I'm still grieving, but you know what I mean. When Derek and I were like super grieving for Snowflake, we went shopping, because that's a healthy coping mechanism. But we went to the thrift store, and this is one of the things I bought, and it made me happy, so. But today, what we're doing besides the rest of my makeup for work is we're going to talk about contouring. And if you don't know what that is, stay tuned. Um, but if you do, um, I have three options because I don't really contour that much, but I decided because I have this makeup in my collection, I should use it. Um, this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, and there's two in here. Beep, and beep. And they're really, really pretty, so... I thought I could use those. Oh, excuse me. I also have this one from Too Faced. It's got shimmer in it, which doesn't bother me, but if you don't like shimmer, then don't buy this one. I think it's not sold anymore anyway. It was part of their 2D Fruity collection. It's got this super cute pineapple packaging. So I have that option. And then I have this one. It's the Tartiste Pro Glow and Blush. And it's the only one in here. It's at the top, the dark one. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just stay tuned. We're going to do my eyes first anyway. Um, oh shit. I thought I did everything that you guys wouldn't be bored by, but I didn't do my eyebrows. I forgot, so I guess you're sitting with me. So I really like doing these videos. I find them very therapeutic, so I'm sorry if you're like bummed out already because of my sad life this month. Um, but I feel like talking about it makes it easier. Um, she was my mother-in-law's best friend, and so I call her my aunt because, you know, I'm married to my husband. And it was literally his aunt. Like, that woman has been in their family, like, 30 years, and so he's obviously devastated. Same with my mother-in-law. And it was very sudden. Um, and she was just a wonderful human being, and so it was just really sad. And so I've been, you know, we've been struggling a little bit. Like, I called off a day to just stay home with my husband um and we've been I think we've kind of I don't think it's really hit us yet because like we've cried on and off but I think like when we go to her like memorial thing it'll really like hit us you know so it's okay to struggle with grief is basically what I'm trying to say because it sucks some days are harder than others and like my mother-in-law is a trooper, like that woman is so strong, it's crazy. Coffee. But on a lighter topic, makeup. So I'm gonna use, my husband picked my makeup last night, by the way. Um, I'm gonna use the Mini Breaker Palette by Jeffree Star. If you don't have this, just you could find like an orange or a purple in your collection, but that's what I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna use this orange in my crease, and then I'm gonna use Probably this purple on my lid, um, and maybe a little bit of this darker one. But I really love this palette, it's so good. I mostly use it for when I'm wearing the scrub top because it's all orange and purple. And I think that's why my husband picked it, is because he's like, oh, this will match perfectly, and it does. Good job, babe. Sorry, I'm trying to find a brush I should have grabbed beforehand, but of course they're behind the camera. I also have flowers behind me that my best friend got me for when my snowflake died and he died on the 16th so they're probably ready to go um 
but I didn't realize that there's lilies in them and cats can have issues with lilies so they've been in my room like in here and so I just have to like keep watching because I have to make sure Pierre isn't back there trying to eat them. So I'm just going into another palette real quick to use this shade that I hit pan on and I was really excited about because I never hit pan on eyeshadows because I have so many. So we're just going to dust that because I don't have any like beige shades like that in this palette. So I've been going into this one a lot to use it. So I'm hoping to use it up. I had another palette like that where I had a beige shade like almost gone and I gave it to a girlfriend because it was super like boring colors that I wouldn't wear. So I was like, here you go. Anyway, all right, we're gonna go into Orange Crush. And these eyeshadows are powdery, by the way. If you don't like powdery eyeshadows, don't buy Jeffree Star because they are powdery, but they work really well. They're powdery, but I definitely love the quality. And I promise at some point we'll get away from Jeffree Star. I wanna do like a drugstore video for you guys because I feel like a lot of people can't afford like these high-end brands and I'm not trying to say like, oh, I make money so I have high-end makeup, but that's what I spend my money on is makeup. Like I'm not trying to be a snooty ass bitch. I'm just saying like I like makeup and that's what I spend my money on. But if you're like, girl, I don't want to spend $52 on an eyeshadow palette, I get it. We're gonna look at some cheaper stuff. So I think that is the next video coming up. Let me know how you feel about that. And just let me know what you want to see in general. Like. I love doing get ready with me's because I can just turn on the camera before I go to work and a lot of people you know like to see my makeup anyway um like when I'm at work they'll be like oh is this one on YouTube and I'm like yeah it is or no not this one and or whatever but I want to know what you guys want to see like show like tell me <sighs> what do you like what do you like watching because like I know for me declutters are my favorite thing like I watch those before I go to bed because they're relaxing and they're soothing to me and I love like watching people get rid of stuff. Like, I don't know why, it's just, I love it. Copy. I don't think you understand how like happy this mug makes me. Like I didn't think like a mug would make me like feel better, but it did. Also Nespresso, you better start sending me pods for free because I keep talking about how great your coffee is because it is. And it saved me so much money. Like that machine was so expensive, of course, but in buying that, I have stopped going to Starbucks like completely. So, and I work four or five days a week because I pick up all the time. So $4 times whatever, I don't even want to think about it, but it's paid for itself. And so Nespresso starts sending me some pods. So Lalo is my favorite. So if you haven't tried an espresso, a Nespresso, sorry, you should definitely try it. Before I go in with my shimmery shade, I'm just gonna go underneath my eye with this purple punch shade. I'm just getting it on a flat brush like this underneath and I'm gonna pack that underneath. Ah! Yeah, they're very powdery, it like just got in my eyeball. Hence the sound effects. There we go. Oh my god. Like, ugh. They're very powdery. Anyway, I'm just gonna blend in that orange a little bit better. And I know it looks crazy right now. It always does until you're done. I'm gonna go in with Oral, which is also why I love this shade because of the shade name. But look at how pretty this purple is. Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like, oh, it's so pretty. So we're just gonna and show off my bow. I love it. Like, I cannot believe I haven't done this before because I'm like obsessed with it. I'm like, I need some more. I was gonna get some crowns on like my thumbs and then I thought, nah, that looks kind of trashy. I'm not gonna do that. And so I was like, oh, I like the bows better. Like, I feel like, like crowns in general, like when people get that like tattooed and like, this is like king and queen or whatever. I feel like that's so trashy. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. It's like I feel like it's like so overplayed that maybe I just think it's trashy. I don't know. Whatever. 
That's just my rambling of the morning. Packing more of that on. Oh, someone's behind me. Who's behind me? Yep, it's Pierre. You see him? He's trying to go for the flowers. Pierre, no. I did that and I didn't scare him, but I scared Sally who's laying here doing absolutely nothing. So we did that, we're going to blend. And obviously I don't want them eating flowers of any kind, but especially lilies. Apparently they're very poisonous to cats and I didn't know that until recently because my husband got me lilies for my birthday and he took them to my work because he's adorable and they, you know, were there. And I think someone told me, someone was like, hey, you don't keep those near your cats, do you? And I was like, what do you mean? Because I normally get roses. That's my favorite flower. Because of course it is, I'm a basic white bitch. And he was like, no or whoever I was with, said, um, don't let them near your cats, they're poisonous. And so I looked it up and apparently they are. So we have to be careful because they're brats. That's why they're in my room. I think I said that already, but it doesn't matter. It's like six o'clock in the morning. You're gonna get over it. Okay, let's see. All right, we're blending again. And this color is not as pigmented as I want it to be, so we're going to spritz away from my coffee. And we're going to pack some more because I don't think there's enough. There we go, that's a little more pigmented. I love this color so much, it's so pretty. And I think it's really cool against the orange. Cool. Okay, so underneath we're gonna use the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. I have a couple eyeliners for under here. None of them really last on me. It doesn't really matter what I use. Under here does not last. Stays for most of the day, this one, but definitely not all day. It doesn't matter what I use. I think I just have teary eyes. Because by the end of the day, it's like gone. But the one that does work is, you know, my NYX Epic Ink Liner. The shit is bomb. All right, now that I'm on camera, I'm gonna try not to f fluff it. And I had to explain to a girlfriend the other day because she tried to use the the um, the liner that I just used underneath on top. And I was like, you can, it's just not gonna last that well. So I had to tell her to use this instead. And she didn't realize that you had to use two different eyeliners. And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. The beauty industry does that to you. Ugh, I already hate this wing, whatever. See if we can make this one better. I feel like I liked my line and then I fucked it up, so let's see. This one I like. It's this one that I'm having a problem with. So let's just make it straighter. Here we go. And you're probably like, bitch, that's too much eyeliner, but then you're probably like that in every video, so it's okay. I'm like, that's okay. I'm like, obviously you don't have to do this. It's just, I like it. One of my texts was telling me, cause I'm a nurse. I don't know if any of you know that or not, but one of my texts was telling me, I was checking on Pierre for the flowers, sorry. Anyway, one of my texts was telling me <laughs> that one of my patients said like, oh, I don't want to ask the nurse with the pointy eyes. <laughs> For anything because she looks mean and I'm like you didn't even come and talk to me you just assumed I was mean and then I was like you know what I'm gonna keep doing it because it works that means it won't talk to me they'll talk to the other nurse who's probably nicer I was like I definitely love my job but I thought that was so funny so I'm like you're not wrong but I'm only mean if you make me I do love my job though I'm a mental health nurse and I freaking love it 
Like, I didn't think I would ever end up in psych, and it's so fun. So I'm just using the Tarte Lights, Camera, Lashes mascara I've been using because I've been obsessed with it. And they just had, um, or they're still going on, I guess, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, and they had the uh, Tarte Man Eater on sale, and that one's really good, too. I, I really like any of the Tarte mascaras. If you can get them on sale, you should get them because they're very good. They're just expensive. Like, if you don't get it on sale, it's like $23 for this, but it really does work. I love this mascara because it's not as, like, wet as some other ones, but it works really well. Especially with my short, stubby little lashes, I think it's great. Make a stupid face. It's like I'm trying to get my bottom lashes and they're just not cooperating today. There we go. And I think my eyelashes are always hard to see just because I have such dark eyeliner on, but they're way longer, um, you know, with mascara on than without. Hmm. Obviously this one is lower than this one, but we're just going to leave it alone because the more I mess with it, the more I'm going to like hate it, so I'm just going to not. So we're going to go on to the point of the video now that you've been here for 16 minutes, and we're gonna talk about contouring. So contouring is a way to make you look like you have cheekbones. And obviously I have a very round face. I don't have cheekbones. So we're gonna pretend I do. And obviously I'm wearing a mask all day, so this doesn't really matter. It's just for me because I have all this makeup and I need to use it. It's kind of the same with my blush and highlighter too. Like I just do it for me because I like it. All you see is my, um, eyes all day, which is why I do so much to my eye makeup, but whatever, we're going to do it anyway. So this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This is the one I like to use just because I love this palette. I think it's so pretty. I take it when I travel, but these two, I'm going to mix them together, and you can use any brush. I'm just going to use this one. It says it's a, it just says Morphe and Jeffree Star. It doesn't say what it's for, so I'm just going to use it for a contour brush, and these are technically bronzers, which... You could get into like why you'd use a bronzer and a contour. I just like to use it for to make my cheekbones. Like some people use it to make it look like they've been out in the sun, which is kind of stupid. I don't get that, but I just want to make it look like I have cheekbones. So you suck in your cheek to find that line, and then it's gonna look really harsh right now. But I'll clean it up. And then you just do like light strokes. And as you see, it looks kind of orange right now, but we're going to fix it. I know, mittens. Oh my god. You guys, this cat. Someone come get her. She's so cute. She's just like laying on her back with her tummy up, and she's like, please pet me. And there we go. I know, mittens. Like, just baby. And so obviously it's going to look crazy when you first do it. And you're going to be like, what did I do to my face, Lisa? And then you're going to be like, I'm telling you, it'll give you cheekbones. And then you could always do it under your chin too, if you have two of them like I do. And it helps get rid of that a little bit. I just use the excess, see? Fucking magic. Ugh, before my coffee gets cold, sorry. That was Sally sneezing. Wasn't that the cutest thing you've ever heard? Miss Mittens! <laughs> She's so cute. I was looking to make sure Pierre's not in the flowers. I don't even think he's in here. Also, you can see my dress up there. This way. Um, it was up there drying, but I never put, took it down. So sorry, back to contouring, so I'm going to blend it out with another brush anyway, but I just wanted to show you, like, yeah, it'll look crazy for a minute. It'll look like you have, like, mutton chops, but it's okay. Just leave it alone for now. 
Next, we're gonna use the Afrique blush by Juvia's Place in Bella. Like, look at how cool this packaging is, first of all. And then, like, isn't this so pretty? It probably would look better on a darker skin tone, to be honest, but I thought it was so pretty that I don't really care. Because Juvia's Place, I'm pretty sure, is a black-owned brand. Which, obviously, is fine, and they're probably going to make stuff to cater to black girls. So, my white ass was like, this is so pretty, but it's kind of dark for me, but it's okay. I'm gonna use it anyway because I think it's pretty. But it's also very pigmented, which I don't mind. But just for your sake, if you're like, girl, I can't use that, then don't. So as you see, it's very, very pigmented. It's quite pink on my cheekbones. So we're just going to blend. And then we're blending the blush and contour, whatever, bronzer, whatever you wanna call it together. Also, we're going to take my handy dandy powder brush after I blend this. And you might be like, girl, this is way too much work. However, if you're getting going to go out or something, like this is something you should know. So you can pick out pick up some dudes. I already got one. I was like, so this is for you. And then you use your powder brush to clean up this area. It's kind of like a magic eraser helps erase like that, oh, excuse me, that intense line, which is still kinda there, but it helps a little bit. And then I have a highlighter hubby picked out. It's the Milani Ludicrous Lights one in the shade Pink Aru, Pink Aru. Oh, sorry, this whole thing moved. I didn't even see that. Um, this formula is okay. I was like, it definitely is like, visible, which I like, um, but it just takes a lot of building. Like it's a purple highlighter, which who doesn't like a purple highlighter, but it does take building. So if you like, bam, right now, this is not for you. I think I bought it at TJ Maxx and I wanted to try it. And so, if you're looking at yourself and you're like, wow, that line is still too rough for me, you can always go in with some powder and dip it on your brush and go in. And I might actually do that because looking in the mirror, I was like, I'm looking a little sunburnt. And I think it's because of the blush. I think it's just a little too dark for me, which is fine. So I'm just gonna go in with a teeny bit of powder. I know, Sally. Go underneath and then kind of on the cheekbones to kind of subdue that blush just a little bit. I think I should have gone in with a little less. It's very pretty, it's just too dark. I was like, that's the only thing. Okay. God, balls, I'm so sorry. Um, also, I have this highlighter, which is okay, it's fine. It's nothing groundbreaking. I mean, once I do a declutter, which I might do at some point, I've just been lazy. And like, I have some friends that like makeup, but not, not enough to give to. You know, like I gave my sister a whole thing of makeup and I don't think she's worn it once. So that's kind of an issue. But I wanted to show you a new um, lip gloss. This is from Dose of Colors. It's in Messy Bun. I had it in one of my haul videos and this is so good, you guys. I've tried it before and I'm out of my Jeffree Star lip gloss that I really liked. So we're gonna open this one. I know, Mittens. Now, if you like a gloss formula that is not sticky and will give you some color payoff, these are the ones for you. And they were on, they're on sale on Ulta's website. I don't know if Dose, Dose, Dose of Colors is like going under or something. I don't know what's happening, but a lot of their stuff is on sale on Ulta's website and these are so good. She is so upset. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. Come here. Oh. She brought a toy in here and she wants to play. That's why she keeps crying. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, there's a ton of colors. This one's messy bun. If you can see that, it might not focus, but these are so nice. I'm like, look. And they make your lips look plumpy. And I already have big lips. I don't have a problem with that. But if you don't, you should try these and let me know how you like them. But yeah, that's the end of my video. I gotta go to work. But I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.